Oh, it's the so I, I kind of upload the main channel videos whenever as, as a sponsor, mm. right? Fund it, and um, and you need the funding for the yes. castle one because that costs a lot of money. And um, this is a video that's coming out. We filmed it like three or four years ago, and uh, <laughs> it feels like that. And it, we basically kind of rented a castle in a really yeah, beautiful place it was like uh, in South Japan. Twenty thousand dollars, I think. Twenty thousand. So it'll be really good, and it's an hour and a half long, or it's an hour and twenty. It's a, it's a top five wacky weekend. Very good, mm. um, and it should be out hopefully within a week or two. Okay. So, uh, Popcorn at the ready. But then apparently, you, you know how this stuff goes. Right? I feel like this is, this is classic YouTube. You won't have sponsors for like two months. Yeah. And then I'll be like, all right, we now have five in the space of two weeks. <laughs> please, on the time of year. Yeah. So. Please up. So now I've got like three or four videos possibly that have to be uploaded in the space of like three weeks. So we'll see. And I don't even have four videos. But at least we all know so. Connor is easily bought. If you have some money, very easily bought. Company, very easily bought. And you are <laughs> very easily bought. Give him your money. After the charity auction, my... Uh, my oh, here we go. The my, charity. The Let's charity throw it auction. Out. Oh, charity. I am now the Start charity. I'm the Beast, charity. Isn't it? Mr. Oh, Beast. Philanthropy. Philanthropy. Look at me. Philanthropy. Did you... Did you... Did you I, I want to see if you saw... Did you see the Mr. Beast thing where he rented out the theatre to yes. eat his Lunchables and watch the Talk what Tour a, podcast? What do you know the do you know talk to her? Do you know the hawk to her? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Gotta give me that hawk to her. <laughs> what do you think about Mr. Beast's generational fall? What, what do you think first, Connor? Because <laughs> I, I have a very strong opinions, but I've kept them shielded for three years. Shielded. Um, um well, you haven't kept he's, them. He's a, I mean, anyone that thinks Mr. Beast is about anything other than making mm. himself the richest YouTube in the world <laughs> has missed something. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I've had chats with all sorts of YouTubers behind the scenes in the years. Yeah. I've met his manager, Reed, uh, two years ago. I had a, no, a video call. He with, yeah, he's left yeah. him. I had a, I had a, I had a call with uh, his manager, Reed, a year or two ago. Yeah. And um, he was nice enough. But they were very much like, how can you make us more money? And I was like, <laughs> I mean, I like to make videos that are fun and educational. I'm like, yeah, but money. Money, <laughs> money, money. That's all we care about. And they were coming over at the time when yeah. Mr. Beast had just overtaken PewDiePie and stuff. Right, right, right. And that day, after the the call with them um, with Reed, I was going to, uh, I was going surfing with Felix. Yeah. You know, when I could get into a bathing suit, not anymore. Body suit. <laughs> and I, and I was like, oh, you know, I'm actually going to see Felix in a minute. And they were like, you know, we want to have Mr. Beast, uh, Jimmy, come over, and we're going to have this like, this. We want to do like a handoff. We're like. You know, from one YouTuber to the next, to the top of their game. Yeah. And I was like, this just sounds the most pretentious <laughs> I've ever heard. Oh yeah, great. And like, <laughs> of course Felix wants that. Come on <laughs> over and just, you know, hand some sort of weird trophy or something. I mean, it was very lame. I remember talking to Felix. And I was just like, this is just so lame now. Uh, I mean, is this all YouTube is now? Yeah, is it all just money? Yeah, yeah. Is well, that... mostly. Yeah, mostly. Um, and now, and then he teamed up, and then. You know, he teamed up with Logan Paul, and that tells you we need to know. <laughs> Literally, he teamed up yeah. with Logan Paul, the biggest... Can I say the C word? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> there is, right? I mean, everybody oh. seems to have forgotten what a massive Logan Paul is. Well, I don't... Th I mean, no, right? it's, it's back. If he's it's not back, filming back, yeah. somebody who's recently taken their own life, literally hanging from a tree in the forest yeah. and making it about themselves, somebody who has exploited their viewers through cryptocurrency scams, somebody who's... <laughs> I saw a video of him, yeah. like, pushing his own dog off a boat the other day. I don't know if you can debate, did the dog jump of his own accord? Was it pushed? I don't know, but it did look pretty sinister. And like, you know, you shouldn't be partnering with these sort of people. Um, yeah, it is an odd choice. But he I does bet... seem to like love Logan a lot. And it is, it, business wise. But you and I know behind the scenes, yeah. you know, you've heard bad things about Mr. Beast for years. Uh, I don't uh, think. Yeah, you hear rumors. You hear you've, rumors. you've told me rumors. I've, I've heard a lot of rumors. Yeah, right. But, like nothing that's like substantial. It's just no. more like. And I don't think he's like, a, he's pure evil or anything like that. No. I just think. People need to look past the philanthropy, which is solely designed for his own benefit. And it yeah. kind of makes me, it's its a kind of what, it's kind of like it's an incredible defensive system where, yeah. you know, if you donate money and do some great things, and he has done great things, we can't yeah. deny that. If you can use that really as a sort of deterrent for any criticism, then yeah. you're doing it for the wrong reason. You know, it's I mean, not, yeah, you it's... know, it, the, the philanthropy is, it always feels like it's there as a, as a barrier to stop any criticism and now that has stopped working because people have seen past that yeah i mean it's hard to say because like philanthropy is always a tough one because obviously you, at the end of the day it's still good even if of course he's using it as a shield you're like yeah. all right well he's still doing it you know um but it's it's definitely it doesn't feel like there's a lot of i don't know it, it feels like it is being used at all in some senses but it's so hard to distinguish when it is and it isn't right because like even if it is it's like well it's still a good thing 
It's hard to use that as a point like against him, but but I don't know. It's like Jack Septic guy when he did the the comment years ago. It was about a year ago now, wasn't it? Uh, oh yeah, 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 um, yeah. You know, and he was like, I hate how YouTube's about this and that. And then yeah. Mr. Beast went off on one, and they had to sort of apologise. But deep down, you know, Jack, that's what he really thinks. And in uh, recently, with recent events, he's come back out and been like. Oh. I mean, I, 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 I actually, funny enough, when that happened, you were with him, weren't the you? The day that happened, I, I didn't with, with the Sean and uh, Jack. I always call him Jack as well. But <laughs> I just call him Jack. Uh, he, he was uh, to me like obviously he, he's he's so mature and so chill. Mm. Uh, he was just like, I just don't want to deal with this. This is not what I wanted it to be. Like this mm. is, I don't want to have this fall out. But it, it, you know, and you can but tell. I think, you know, it's aged well. The clip's aged well. It's aged very well. You know. <laughs> But like, look, I think that you anyway, get us some lunch, Lee. I'm hungry. Where's where's you my lunch? Some lunch where's my lunch, lunch box lunch with my good old prime thumbs? Yeah, the, uh, the logo. But we're fine, the... honestly. But I'm glad it's reached this point. Yeah, but Logan, I... Logan Paul with the Tommy in it. You know, yeah, Tommy? I saw Tommy. Tommy. That's Tommy very in funny. It. That's very funny. Yeah, he's arguing. I saw leaking that. DMs. Which I feel like if you have to leak DMs, you've already kind of like I don't know. I feel like that's slimy. If you're mm. if you're if you're showing off DMs, I'm like, come on, man. We're all adults. But anyway, um, yeah, and there's there's other things I could talk about about this. Things yeah. I've seen, heard, read behind the scenes um, through people I, I, I know. But like, I, yeah, I, that's I, my I, thoughts on it. I've been waiting to say things a long time about that. I feel like generally a good rule of thumb is that if you see a creator who seems like they have a lot of friends, they hang out with a lot of people, they're normally a bit more well adjusted. I think there's a, a certain group of people or creators that you I mean, interact with, and you're like, ah. Makes a lot of sense uh, now why people didn't really hang out with the them much. Headline yeah, I but, but also that doesn't mean you have to hang out with them. I can. VA bash Mr. Beast and Logan Paul on stream. Uh, people can donate to. Oh uh, God! They said uh, they can I see can the Nick Soto uh, article now. Yeah, they'll be like, Chris. Uh. Uh, no, I look. Like, I have some blowback. No, yeah. no, because look, at the end of the day, saying Logan Paul's an asshole is not a Logan hot Paul. Take. I mean, also, yeah. he he was uh, he's he does WWE, and a lot of people. Say like it's so annoying. That he's very good. He's very very good at WWE. Yeah, it's he's credit. I can't deny but uh, they're doing a world tour right now, yeah. and uh, he's too busy to do the uh, Japan leg. Like, oh, so he's good. Good. not doing that. You see, when his wife was giving birth to his baby, and he was like, "Prime by Prime, yeah, <laughs> Lunchly, Lunchly, Lunchly." No, what was the one? We it did made me wish the, the internet had never been born. He did the Trump interview where he talked get... about Gaza and then promoted <sighs> Prime right in the middle of it. Oh my Chris, god! Do me a favor, just, eat a who's a, who watches this guy anyway? It's just it's just unlike. Um, yeah, yeah I might tragic. I might go in more de depth on it. It's tragic. It's, you know, it's even even we might have a million or two followers, but even talking about such yeah. large creators, uh, Mr. Beast, I think you'll find a lot of creators are very scared to do that um, because he has a very scary, rabid fan base. I mean, I, I don't think if I was in a Mr. Beast video, it would change anything. Mm -hmm. I don't, you know, if I, you know, I think it's cool, you know. Like the 50 creators thing, you see that, you're like, oh, that's awesome, but, but do you know, do you I wouldn't know, want to go to North Carolina. <laughs> what annoyed me? So remember uh, the yeah. kid's blindness thing? Oh, yeah. Cured blindness, <laughs> right? Yeah. He cured blindness. I don't know why I'm laughing at that. It's just the thumbnail. The thumbnail is so demonic. Here's the I dilemma. It. Like, it. It's one of those things. On the one hand, brilliant. He, yeah. you know, helped kids deal with blindness, which yeah, is really yeah. great. Um, but I kind of, you, you can picture the meeting. Having met his manager and talked to people behind it, yeah. you can picture that meeting, how it went in a room oh, yeah, in North yeah. Carolina. We need to make more money. The team's got bigger. We need to increase our revenue by like 10%. Who's got some fussing ideas out here? <laughs> and they went, oh, what if we do bomb a, bomb a truck and throw a train off a cliff? <laughs> we'll do it. Uh, any others? Oh, <laughs> cure blindness. We could like cure 100 kids blindness. Yeah. Fucking that's the one. That's going to get the headlines. Yeah. And that is how it, it's not like he read an article and went, man, this issue is really bad. If we mm -hmm. could make a documentary. Mm -hmm. Covering this topic about blindness that could be cured. Yeah. That's the way to tackle it. A man in his position with billion subscribers, wherever he is, 300 million, yeah. can make a really well made documentary. He could cure blindness in 100 kids and still have the click through rate that yeah. he demands and actually cover the subject in a serious matter. And yet, it was not that. It was cure the blindness, done, yeah. Got my money, here's the sponsor. Well, hey, I, done. It, money, it's, sorted, it's, go. It's a shame because I feel that. That's the thought process. Yeah. How do we make the money, reverse engineer it? We make an article or title a video, kids curing blindness. Either. And when he covers a topic, uh, it could be water in Africa, yeah. clearing a beach, noble acts, no doubt about it. You can tell he doesn't really care. It's just, you turn up, <laughs> make a quick video, back on a private jet to North Carolina, <laughs> because it's it's not a documentary. He never has that one-on-one, yeah. -on -one, I don't know, it's just... Well, I think the reason why just... I don't like a lot of those is that it does feel like creatively 
like void as well. Like there's nothing. Like there's no story being pursued. There's here. no story. There's just money, give, problem I, fixed, goodbye. I remember yeah. I watched a video and it was like I went to a desert island or something. Yeah. I escaped to a desert island for a day. Yeah. And it was just lots. Of, it starts with like yeah, like a shot of a CGI building in the distance. <laughs> a lot of people don't realise that a lot of those openings are like CGI hotels and boats and things. Yeah. Um, and you just see things happen, events. That are impressive. Like oh, I bought a million dollar yacht and I sat around yeah. and I rented a million dollar yacht or whatever. But you just feel nothing because there's no emotion, no story, no plot behind it. It's just things happening. And he might well be. And when I had that management call with the Reed guy who is now doesn't work with, I said, oh, you know, it'd be really cool to see uh, Jimmy, you know, first YouTuber in space. And he's like, we're thinking of doing it. Man. But you know, if he goes into space or he goes to the moon, I am literally on the moon right now. And it'll be so foreign, you'll want to kill yourself. <laughs> it'll be so shit. Because you'll look at it, you'll feel nothing. It's just big acts with nothing at the hollow center of it. <laughs> and this is what I just hate it. I hate the oh, what YouTube's goodness. become. I think about just stopping doing everything and fucking off to an island without internet so often because of this. Well, and I, 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 I realize yeah. the audience, the kids, mostly under 14, naive, don't understand what's going on. But I think it's they'll be sure. eating lunchly and they'll be drinking yeah. prime. And the next generation is lack of a better word for yeah, I mean there's some there's some videos where I feel like he's done a decent job of like telling the story but there's other times where I'm like man I feel like the need to have the video be about what you're doing and yourself is sometimes the thing that holds back the video mm. and I find it makes it kind of boring I feel like there's so many interesting stories that other people have that you could show off uh if you gave them the time but uh, it's retention mean, it's well, all yeah, about a good, a good documentary yeah. you tell the story of other people yeah, yeah. and you get into their yeah. life and you tell that and he is in a, a prime position yeah. to do that. You know, if I had 300 million subscribers, an unlimited budget, $46 million expenditure yeah. per year, whatever it was, the last yeah. year I think he said he spent 45 million. You know, think of the good he could do and the stories he could mm. tell. Uh, you know, it doesn't have to always be about click-through rate and it mm. doesn't have to be about retention. Um, you know, but... I mean, that's what it is. That's what it is. In the, on the, I used to sort of respect him for the sense of the, the hard work and the grinding yeah. aspect of it. And I respect any creator who's who's done well on YouTube because often there's a lot of mm. time, effort, thought uh, has gone into that. But somewhere along this, the timeline, the last year or two, mm. the scales have tipped and it's all become a bit ugly. And, yeah. It's, yeah, it's also boring, which I and feel it's like is, like, is I, the saddest part of this. Yeah, I, like, I watched him. I watched him. <laughs> so boring. Drive a train off a cliff into that's a pit, the worst one. and that's he bombed terrible. it, and he blew up a tank, and you're just sitting there like, oh, I don't care, man. You could like uh -huh. drop a nuclear bomb, and I'd be like, oh, what's the time? <laughs> like, just don't give a shit, because at the yeah. core of a video is a story and people yeah. and a plot yeah. and narrative, and him. It's just yeah. there's the humor and the nothing. It's just boring. That's the future of the internet. So get ready, fasten your seatbelts. It's about to get a lot shitter. But I think, in, in some senses, that's what's almost like. I, 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 it's, I've been thankful for because I see that and I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm glad I don't ever want to do this. Because I, you know, for me, I, I think, don't know. I would like to quite like to strap you to a train no, and I drive off no, a Welsh no, bridge. No, I okay, they, 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 I'll we, be, we, I'll be, that's it, a story give it, there. Give it ten minutes and it'll collapse on its own. <laughs> 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 uh, you know, because the things that we do, like the RV and the cycle, I like that it. It feels like you're just with your mates, and I think mm. that's the energy I'm trying to capture. And, and like, be like, all right, I don't need this this ten minute. Well, we we cycled across Japan, and then I don't show anything ever, and I just like yeah, yeah. just throw our bike in the ocean at some point, and then you know, it's like there's no there's no substance. It's like no. I think you get to actually have banter and learn about some cool shit too while you're at it. Like it's just fun. I, I know Beast's not aimed at me. No, no, of it's course aimed not. at it's people who are 20 us. years younger than me. But I worry that, <laughs> you know, when we grew up watching TV shows, yeah. my generation, yeah. I'm a generation younger than you, yeah. watching things from, you know, national TV where thought and passion yeah. had gone into it and there was a story. I mean, so we've gone from there to like YouTube now and a lot of YouTubers that are big, you know, but, I went on the first class plane and I did this. And I, you know, I'm as guilty as anyone. He's especially guilty. Me too, yeah, I love Very it. guilty. Yeah. yeah. But, but, you know, but we're, I, I, we're part of it. We're part of it. I think they have the right idea, but they're just awful execution. And I think I try to, at least when we do those kind of stuff, that I like doing it with you because I think there's a lot of banter to be had. Like when we're on the tiny train, we're not pulling punches. We're like, this is just shit. <laughs> like, this is just awful. Like, it, it is, like it's, so, it's so easy to make this stuff look idyllic or uh, much cooler than it is. But I think it's also funny to, when something is bad, mm. it's okay to just be like, hey, this is kind of shit. Absolutely. I think... Which is... Uh, you know, uh, I, would, uh, I wouldn't have uh, exploded about this, but the day I saw 
piece team up with Logan Paul. Oh of course, you know, I was in what Japan. Do mean, what do you mean you don't want electrolytes in your kids' foods? <laughs> it's just, I just, I was, you know. Are you here. getting enough electrolytes? I think. <laughs> I, I'm up. concerned. About, are you getting enough? You weren't here the, the, the time he did the everything wrong in Japan thing, right? Oh, I do. I, I loved, I loved, and I was like, of course he did the go karts. The go karts that nobody no. likes. <laughs> They're insufferable. They're everywhere. The go karts in oh Tokyo. My God. I talked about, you know, I talk, if you watch Abroad Japan, I rant about them a lot because you see them, they go, rum, 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 rum. everyone's having a lovely day in Shibuya. Right, the hot. sun's shining, the birds are singing, <laughs> hop, skip, and a jump, and then like, rum, 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 rum. Oh, they're everywhere. And like they're eight everywhere. dozen fucking go karts come past. And just today, uh, the are, police, yeah. you know, had to be like, shut down you're letting much. people drive without licenses around yeah. Tokyo, you know. Um, and of course, Mr. Beast wasn't the first person no, to no. do the go karts, but he popularized it, and now they're unstoppable. Well, it's just, I, it's and everyone so, in Tokyo hates it. It's so annoying because it's like there's so much cooler shit you could have done. Yeah. And you picked the one thing that was lame. It's not just annoying though; it's literally yeah. very dangerous for the drivers. Yeah. Like, I, I, I've been here ten years, and driving around Tokyo gives me a heart attack every time. The yeah. idea of turning up jet lagged, without <laughs> a driver's license. And driving a go-kart around the centre of the world's biggest city is a recipe for shit. Like, it's not going to end well. And it doesn't end well. Crashing into taxi drivers, crashing into my favourite fish and chip mm. shop in Rapongi. That's the real reason I'm angry.